hi friends welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you DSCP server failover custom installation and configuration step by step so here is my environment I have basically three virtual machine running on uh, VMware workstation the first machine is uh, my active directory server which is uh, uh, you can verify from here win 2 k 12 r2 dc01 I have installed Active Directory and DSCP role, uh, a DNS role on this machine. So my host name is Win2K12, R2DC01, uh, R2 and my domain name is VictorInfoSol.com. And I have two DSCP node, which is like cluster-01, cluster-02. Both are running Windows Server 2012 R2 version. Here it is. Um, cluster node 0 1 and cluster node 0 2 so both machine are joined in my, my domain vectorinfosol.com and you can see Microsoft Windows over 2012 R2 data center edition I have assigned 4 GB RAM I, I did the configuration of like basic configuration uh, for uh, both the machine like configuring the IP address renaming the machine and uh, joining the machine in domain so so let's do step by step so step by st step installation and configuration of DSCP server failover cluster so the first thing I need to do I need to install DSCP server role on both the servers so I'm going here on my node 1 manage to add role add role and features click next click next and here you can see our server name click next cluster 01 and take the G DSCP server and yes required features like management feature for DSCP server click next 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 and just click on install so the DSCP server installation is very easy so I'm going to do the same on my node 02 click next and role and role based and feature based installation click next and our server name and then select DSCP server role add feature click next 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 confirmation page click install button to install so you can see install starting installation on first machine both the server are just going to initiate the solution for DSCP server and after this we need to do second step which is create required scope on cluster node 01 so once the installation is done we'll create the DSCP or like IP range or IP scope on DSCP server so just wait to get the installation finished it will like take few minutes depending on the st speed of your server speed of your machine so installation is just started on both the servers so just wait to get the finished installation so here you can see installation is completed and complete the DCP server so I'm going to click on complete the DCP server it will ask for authorized user account so click next and I have uh, like my uh, a domain account which is Victor Infosol slash cluster admin have the uh, like credential to verify this uh, authorize my uh, uh, DSCP server in my Active Directory so I'm going to click on commit and you can see create security group done authorize uh, DSCP server done so click close and you can close this also so you can see on dashboard DSCP is installed and I'm going to do same on second DSCP node I'm going to authorize with the same account DSCP server cluster admin click next and you can see everything is done from for the second DSCP server as well as so now moving to next step which is a create a required scope so I'm going to open the DSCP management console on my node 1 and here it is IPv4 
so I'm going to create a new scope first click next and I'm going to put it clear it land or you can put local land click next and it will ask for like uh, starting and ending IP address range I'm going to put it here 19101 and ending IP address 192168 one dot you can see 200 next I'm not going to put any exclusion configure DSCP server yes I want to configure DSCP scope option click next my default gateway for my LAN next and my domain name is also verified DNS name no and do you want to activate DSCP scope yes I want to activate so here is my local LAN and I'm going to create one more scope you can call it like local Wi-Fi and click next and the IP address range is set by like 2.101.192.168.2.200 .1 .1 click next 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 and yes I want to configure the ACP option so my uh, default gateway address this time it will be like 2.254 click next my domain name yes click finish so I have two scope on my first DSCP server first is related to local Wi-Fi and second is for uh, my local LAN if you go here policy um, sorry scope option you can verify the scope option setting so we are done with like creating the scope on DSCP server so let's move to ne next and now like configure DSCP scope option on 01 is done and configure DSCP failover I am going to do the next step so configure DSCP failover right button on like you can see here IPv4 we can click right button and got the option for configure failover and if you go here and check the DSCP server management for node 2 you can verify here nothing is created no IP scope no IP range nothing is there so here is the option select or or if you want to put the any uh, any individual so I'm going to use the select all click next and the parent DSCP server add server so I'm going to like add this server click next oh here we need to select the second server which I want to add in DSCP failover so click and next you will get the like node 02 and here is the relationship name if you want to change the relationship name you can change like I am going to put here the relationship number name like cluster node 0 1 2 clusters node 0 2 and the maximum client lead time and these are the settings like host standby load balancing so host standby means something like host is not pro host host uh, is not going to provide IP address until the uh, your um, uh, primary parent node is down so the best option is like load balancing uh, 50 per 50 percent you can see the load balancing local server 50 percent and parent server 50 percent if you want to change it you can change like this way and start switching over interval if you want to switch the uh, switch the int uh, like switch the DSCP fade over relations then you can take here uh, like you need to put it one secret key I'm going to type my secret key here and next and now you can see the like pair uh, like the scopes which are going to share and parent and local server these things and click next and you can see add scope on parent server successfully disable scope on parent server successfully create and 
create of uh, creation of failover uh, configuration parent server successfully so everything looks good configure failover final state is successful so you can close it and if you go now there are not two so the next step is basically verify DSCP failover setting on cluster uh, on cluster node 0 2 so I am going to check this just go here and refresh and now you can see the both scopes are created here so like everything looks good we have local and Wi-Fi with the same setting whatever we did so this is related to like DSCP server failover cluster and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more uh, more videos and if you have any question related to this or any another video of me you can mail me on my given mail id thank you once again for watching bye bye